here adapting and trying to overcome and trying to survive like everybody else. And we wish uh, that the dollar was strong and our industry was strong and the economy was strong, but it's not. And it's, it's, it's just that simple. We're right. We've been right. We know what we're talking about. It's just that simple. Let's talk to John in Washington. You're on the air with Bob Chapman. Hey, uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. Colin here from Seattle. Hey, uh, Bob, a couple quick questions for you. Uh, what about uh, palladium and platinum in your metals mix? And then, you know, I emailed you once and you responded, just as Alex said you always would, and you talked about income uh, trusts, income producing trusts. Is there, is there certain sectors that you would be interested in that or even specific ones that you would look at? But I think you probably maybe just want to highlight certain sectors in that area. Well, first of all, with platinum and palladium, the uh, the performance has been spectacular. Uh, and in fact, they've even gone further ahead percentage-wise than gold and silver have. But uh, they are basically industrial metals, and uh, much more so than gold and silver. And and so I think there'll be a catch-up by gold and silver on a percentage basis over the next couple of years. Uh, but they have done very well, and they are good investments. I like the fact that gold and silver have been monetary metals in the past, and I always look forward to the time that maybe we might have enough problems that we have to use them uh, to uh, commence trade with. And so uh, I, I I like to stick to them, but uh, platinum and palladium have done very well and probably will continue to but probably not as, as as good a performance as gold and silver because they've already run up in front of them. Um, the other part of the question was... Income-producing trusts. Oh, yes. Um, the only ones that I have looked at and have liked are the oil and gas trusts. Exactly, those family partnerships. It can also be used as a family partnership, correct? Right, and uh, they're yielding about 7% a month, you know, 7% on an annualized basis, and they pay every month. And for people who are elderly who need more income, uh, then that's a good way to go. Uh, but it, it's not without risk, too, because if the price of oil went to $40, to $40 a barrel, uh, the value of the security that you purchase certainly would go down, even though the dividend would still be, would still be there for you. On the other hand, if oil were to go from 75 to $115 a barrel, then the value of the security, the trust, would go up. And so there is a play in the market there. But you can't get that kind of yield anyplace else, and it's a natural resource. And with all the nasty things that are going on in the world, yeah. there's a good chance that they could make oil go higher well, it's just like it's just like gold or silver comes out of the ground or or platinum. I mean, it, 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 it's it's a raw material that has always had intrinsic value. I appreciate your call, John. Let's go to Mark in Oklahoma. You're on the air, Mark. Good afternoon. How are you all doing this afternoon? Good, sir. Welcome. Hey, uh, I woke up uh, to your show about a couple of years ago from an anonymous lady, and believe it or not, I can't even find her name in the phone book. I don't even know who she is now. So. Uh, Anyway, that's uh, you can call that divine providence, I guess. But uh, I've been able to wake up several people here in um, Oklahoma. And uh, what I wanted to talk about is, is I went to an energy conference uh, this past Wednesday here in Oklahoma, and a Rhodes Scholar was speaking as a keynote speaker at lunch. And he was talking about uh, CO2 and carbon trading and carbon taxes. And at the end, he opened it up for questions. And so I said, uh, uh uh, that, you know, oil went from $80 to $140 very quickly. And I said that was in due large, large part to derivatives trading by Goldman Sachs bankers. And now you're sitting here telling us that we should trust the same people that are going to be allowed to trade these same derivatives on carbon, which would raise prices for all uh, energy in general. And so that creates another economic choke point. So why should we trust the same, very same people that got us into trouble? In the well, first plus place? it's a solution to a non-issue. Uh, what did he say to that? Well, he, he just he, he had no comment. He was taken back by it that someone in the audience was even aware enough to ask the question. And I had several people that come up to me at the end and said, why don't you run for office? And I said, oh, no, if I was in office, I couldn't ask that question. Well, here's the good news. Uh, these different uh, 
you know, mercantile exchanges having these carbon credits, you know, they've gone from over $100 down to 50 cents. I mean, I've seen cases of that. They're all gone from blue chip, you know, you know high quality AAA stuff down to penny stocks. Bob Chapman? Uh, that's right. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's this business of carbon taxation is an absolute scam. And, of course, uh, the um, uh, the whole thing is run by uh, Al Gore and other members of the Council on Foreign Relations, et cetera. And uh, this is the way they want to fund what they want to fund, not only in the United States, but worldwide. And uh, they're, they, they just don't, don't want to give up. I mean, you and I covered this uh, in a big way about a year ago, especially when you, we were part of the group that exposed what was going on. And uh, carbon taxes are just another scam, and I'm happy that this gentleman stood up and asked the hard question of, oh, what do you mean, what are you doing? And the speaker had to back off and just stand there and say nothing because someone had exposed him for what he was and just another phony. Well, this gives the private bankers control over energy, and they state the global government will be run by the six mega banks, and they will charge you carbon taxes, and you will pay them. And, and, and it's just a giant fraud. Hey, we're the bankers that ripped you off. Now pay us money or the earth will die. I mean, it's the oldest trick in the book, and the good news is it's imploding. We're going to jam in Aaron, Michael, and Bill. Uh, maybe even Brian in the final segment straight ahead with Bob Chapman. I'm Alex Jones. This is the GCN Radio Network. GCNlive.com is a great news website as well. They post a lot of our key reports and many others from Ron Paul and others at GCNlive.com. So for other news we haven't covered, GCNlive.com. You worry, but only because you're paying attention. What's happening in the Gulf of Mexico illustrates an audacity toward nature. A similar audacity called GMO, or genetically modified organisms, means that the quality of commercially grown food may be compromised with our health in the balance. Now that summer's here, what better time to learn about the bounty that nature provides in wild edible food? Let author Linda Runyon show you the best kept secret in plain sight, that food is everywhere you look. This summer, for the cost of a good meal or two out, you can literally starvation-proof yourself and your loved ones against any future craziness, and put up tons of free food too. Whatever experiment is being run on us, you can rest assured that Linda's 50 or so staple foods aren't involved. Our foods are their enemy. So go to ofthefield.com or call toll-free 1-888-51-EAT-FREE and take that first step. Make your oasis of food security and nutrition now. That's O-F-T-H-E-F-I-E-L-D.com or call 1-888-513-2837. Start now and make 2010 your year of independence. They helped to create a new world order. We are part of a new world order. A new world order based upon collective action. Invisible Empire is a damning indictment of the globalists through their own words and documents. The new world order really is a tool for addressing a new world of possibilities. It means all the world under their control. The United Nations would take over America. The Trilateral Commission would control the world. Invisible Empire chronicles how men of power and influence have worked in stealth for centuries to establish an oppressive world government. I believe, first of all, that we now need nothing short of a world constitution for the global financial system. Global governance with the establishment of the G20. So it's going to be an inner ruling elite and then everyone else. And I got news for you. You're everyone else. Invisible Empire. Secure your copy today at Infowars.com or PrisonPlanet.com or watch it online in the highest quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Afraid to answer it? Afraid to answer your door? Did you know that debt settlement, bankruptcy, and attorneys will cost you about 10 times more than you would legally be required to pay creditors? These are not ways to help you get out of debt. They are expensive payment plans. And if you're in debt already, does it make sense to load yourself up with another payment plan? Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt in 90 days, guaranteed. And that's the website you need to visit right now. ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com Zero Debt in 90 Days gets you out of debt without a payment plan and without 
without attorneys or going to court. ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com is the quickest solution to debt relief on the planet. If you have more than $25,000 in credit card debt, student loans, or difficult mortgage situation, we can help. And we are the only organization to provide written guarantees on the results. Go to ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com. That's ZeroDebtGuaranteed.com. I'm not the kind of kiss and tell, but I've been seen with Farah. I've never been with anything less than a nine. So fine. All right, it's a I final segment here. We're just doing our best to get people to wake up to how crazy things have gotten. And this happens every time in history. You let corruption take over, it gets worse and worse and worse till the society collapses and the crooks don't care. It's outrageous. But now they've engineered the collapse into their profit scheme. With the White House science are now giving press conferences saying, post-industrial, we want to destroy America. And they're clapping, yay, it's wonderful. The depression's good to lower our carbon footprint. You can't make up stuff like this. Up next is Aaron in California. You're on the air with Bob Chapman. Hey, Alex and uh, Bob, thanks for taking my call. And I'd just like to say I'm a new listener, first-time caller, and... Uh, the uh, reason why I'm a new listener is because my buddy, who's a city inspector down there in Austin, <laughs> he's a big fan of yours. So anyway, I uh, just want to get to my question here. Uh, I wanted to ask Bob and you, where do you think the economy is going? Because in my situation, I've uh, me and my wife, we uh, purchased a house two years ago out here in California. And, and in two years, it's already underwater, $150,000. And this is kind of like my retirement and everything. We're all rolled into one. And I'd just like to know uh, or hear any suggestions that you might uh, want to give to me to should I get out, should I let the bank have it, or what? Well, just I know like what Bob's going to say. You'd have to look at your particular financials to give you advice. And, of course, I mean, we're, well, we're, we're current in everything on our, th uh, our loan and stuff. We're not behind on our payments at all. We've never been behind. And the bank just doesn't want to – they don't want to uh, work with us as far as, them, uh, you know, modification or anything. I believe some laws were passed to make them do that, but it's not being enforced, Bob. No, that's correct. And uh, <laughs> the banks really don't want to make any deals. Uh, they just uh, just as soon have the, the houses and dump them into the market. And uh, I think they're going to end up with a lot of houses, and I think that's the final intention. But I, I think you should see how it goes. Uh, are you in Southern California? Yes. yes. He said yes. His audio was real low. Oh, and uh, and so I think you can expect uh, next year that you'll probably, and maybe into the year after, you'll probably see another 10 to 20% drop in the value of the home. But if you're willing to stay there and you can make the payments uh, and that doesn't bother you, that's fine. But on the other hand, if you don't want to continue – to be in an underwater home, you just walk away from it. Well, see, in California as a state, you can do that. Well, the thing is, is what, what I'm afraid of is if the economy crashes, I'd like to be prepared. And it just doesn't make sense for us to keep spending $4,000 a month versus $2,000 a month in renting. But the thing is, I got kids. And I want to make sure my kids are safe and protected and taken care of that I can provide for them. Well, I understand but, you live in California, but that, that's a state I'd get out of. I mean, if you have your druthers and could get out of California, I'm not telling you what to do with your particular case, sir. But me, I, I wouldn't be anywhere near California, Bob. Move to Austin. But, you know, the point is the best thing to do is really to walk away. That's, that's a large monthly payment. And you can you can rent a house in California for probably eighteen hundred, two thousand a month. That's a heck of a lot cheaper. Well, God bless you. And I thanks I thank you all for your advice and thanks Alex for doing uh, doing our country uh, or you know for everything you do out there. Okay, well, listen, we're almost out of time, Aaron. Sorry to hear that you're in that situation. That's why it's so painful to really be aware of what these globalists have done. But thank you. Uh, Michael, Bill, uh, Brian, Jesse, we're out of time. I'll be back Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, the abbreviated Sunday broadcast. Bob, Lord willing, will be back next Friday uh, in the third hour. I appreciate the crew doing the great job, the Genesis Network, all of our sponsors, all of you out there that make this 
transmission possible. We'll continue to try to get the word out and wake as many people up as we can. Also, be sure and support all of our local affiliates by spreading the word about them and supporting their sponsors. Couldn't do it without them. You are listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Listen up, friends. This is Alex Jones with Key Information. The mainstream media is now admitting that we're going into 